One of the simple truths our plan is predicated upon uh, is that our military personnel and their families need the support they have earned. To ensure that support for our service members, Republicans will introduce two amendments to the defense bill related to the attack at Fort Hood, uh, Texas, uh, last November. Uh, Republicans believe military families have the right to know the full extent of the findings of the reports on the terrorist attack at Fort Hood. Uh, I plan to offer an amendment to require the Department of Defense to publicly disclose the restricted annex to the West Clark Review of the Fort Hood attack. The West Clark Report's restricted portion does not contain information that warrants being classified, yet it has been concealed and hidden to prevent potential embarrassment. Making the report fully public will provide military families and the, America, and the American people with a better understanding of why this attack occurred and lessons learned for the future. This should be a bipartisan issue. Military personnel and their families deserve no less than the unvarnished truth. Republicans believe the Fort Hood victims are just as much a part of the war on terror as any other service member in a combat zone and should be treated as such. I plan to offer an amendment to provide combat-related benefits to the victims of the Fort Hood attack. The fact is, this was a terrorist attack and the victims were combat casualties. Republicans aim to do what is right and provide support for our military personnel and their families impacted in the attack. And with that, I'd like to uh, return it back to a ranking Republican ranking member of the House Armed Services Committee, uh, Congressman Buck McKeon.